Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will explain how you can get this brand new mount right here, Quax, in just less than half an hour or sometimes a little bit more. Basically, this mount is the new monthly reward for collecting 1000 points with the trading post system and you can already get it right now. So I'm going to explain what are the easiest steps right now in order to get these 1000 points in just half an hour. But again, keep in mind you have many other options. So it's always something you can do also just throughout the mount without having to go and rush. But if you really want the mount right now, this is the best way to get it as fast as possible. So the first thing I would recommend you to do is to kill one treasure goblin either in the dragon house or in Storwin or Orgrimmar because you will need to kill two treasure goblins in order to get 250 points. So what you can do is for instance if it is noon 30 or 1 30, 2 30 it will be in the dragon house so what you can do is simply wait for the portal to spawn then you want to go in the custom search just type goblin and like that you will find some groups that will be up. You can then join the group and you will have five minutes to get there in order to kill the treasure goblin. Then every new hours, so for instance, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., it will be either in Orgrimmar or in Storwin. And so what you can do is if you kill it first in Orgrimmar, for instance, half an hour later, just go in the Dragon House and join the group and you will be able to kill both of them. Or if you kill your first treasure goblin in Dragon House, then just go and hopefully it will be in the right capital for you, either Storwin or Orgrimmar. Keep in mind that there is a very simple rotation. So again, every new hour, so 1, 2, 3 p.m., it will be in one of the major capitals. So let's say, for instance, the first one at 1 will be in Orgrimmar. Then it means that at 1.30, it will be somewhere in the Dragon House. Then at 2, it will be in the over capital, so Storwin. And then at 2.30, it will be in the Dragon House again. And then at 3, it will be Orgrimmar again. So it's very easy to follow. And normally like that, in half an hour, you will be able to already kill two of them and get 250 points. And keep in mind, of course, that when you kill these different treasure goblins, especially on your first kill of the day for your entire account, you will have a good chance at getting the Tyrell's Chargers mount, which is also really nice. After that, all you want to do is in one of the starting areas, so I would say, for instance, if you start in Storwin or in Orgrimmar, just go outside of the city, and here you just want to win 15 pet battles, again, all these different level 1 pets that are out there. One thing that makes it easy is for you to activate the track pets option on your minimap in order to see them very easily, and like that, you can just defeat 15 of them, and you will then be able to get 200 more points. After that, what you want to do is go in Valdraken. So you can either use the different portals in Storin and Orgrimmar, or maybe use your Earthstone. When you are here, all you want to do is fulfill 10 public or private orders with the crafting order system. So what I always do, because I'm playing on a very low prop realm and there are not that many requests up on the public order system, so what I do is that I go on another character that has access to the crafting order system and I just send 10 requests to my other character that are very easy to fulfill. So usually profession tools or equipment, things like that. So when you send the 10 requests to your other character, just log back onto your other character and here you want to complete these 10 different requests. And as soon as you fulfill these 10 requests, you will then earn 200 points. So this is really a very easy way to get 200 points with the crafting order system. After that, all you want to do is go and kill a world boss in the Dragon House. So right now, the one in the Waking Shore is very close to Valdraken. So just fly there, try to find a group. Normally, there are always groups available. And normally, in just a few minutes, you will be able to kill the world boss and to get another 100 points. Then, after that, all you want to do is go back to Valjakan, turn on War Mode On, and then you want to complete one PvP world quest. So here, the best one, I would say, right now, is in the Azure Span. Just go there. And as you can see, as soon as you complete this quest, you will also receive some bloody tokens. So if you do this quest, you will then be able to actually get 250 points, 100 for completing the PvP world quest, and 150 
for getting at least 30 of these bloody tokens. So this is honestly the best way to get a lot of points as well. If this specific world quest is not available, just do any of the other PvP world quests and you will be able to get 100 points. And then if you want to get the 150 points by having some of these bloody tokens, what you can do is simply wait for a war supply chest to spawn anywhere in the Dragon House and also in the Zarek Cavern. Just pick up this chest and normally you will be able to get some of these bloody tokens inside. And like that, you will be able to get the 150 points for the bloody tokens. If unfortunately you cannot really find any of these war supply chests or there are not any good ways to get some of these bloody tokens, what you can do instead is simply go in any areas of the Dragon House and fish 20 fish in any lava areas. In order to be able to get these different fish, you will have to be at least at Renown 15 with the Iskara Tusker. And then also, if you want, you can also get another 100 points just by catching 50 fish in Mist of Pandaria. So this is honestly very easy. And normally just by doing that, you will be able to get 200 points, which should be enough to get the 1000 points for the mount. Also, what you can do is simply create three Shadow Flame crests, which is honestly pretty easy. Or you can also, for instance, loot five treasures in the Nifan Caves, which is also not too difficult. So you really have a lot of other ways to get these different points. But this is right now the fastest way to get 1000 points. Then, as soon as you reach 1000 points, you just want to go back to Storwin or Grimar, and there you just want to click on the chest, and as you can see, you will then be rewarded with Quacks, this new mount, and this is honestly really simple to get. So as you can see, in less than an hour, probably like half an hour, you will be able to get this really cool pirate mount. I think the color on this one is really, really nice. And keep in mind also that for this mount, you will be able to get two other mounts by using some of your tenders. You will be able to get the Cinder Main Charger and also the Royal Swarmer's Reigns. So overall, you will be able to get a lot of mounts. And also, if you're lucky, when killing the Trailer Goblins, you will maybe get the Tyrell's Chargers. So this is definitely a good mount for all these different mounts. And I hope you will be able to get all of them pretty easily. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and I hope it will help you get this new mount very easily. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great day. Bye.